Hey guys, today we're going over tuning basics and how to tune your print to get the perfect part every single time. Okay, so the next setting we're gonna look at is cooling. Now this is the fan that's blowing near the nozzle. It's actually blowing on the plastic that's printing as it's printing. Sometimes it's used for bridging, but generally on like materials like PLA, it just needs the fan on 100% the whole time and it's gonna come out right. Now, if you're moving to ABS or polycarbonate, these plastics warp and curl a lot more. So generally, you're gonna use no fan or very, very little fan. Uh, for ABS, we actually like using about 30% fan in our heated chambers because it's actually blowing hot air on the part, but on open printers and things like that, the ambient air temperature is probably gonna to be too cold to use any fan at all. Now, for high temperature plastics like Peak and Ultim, we actually use no cooling fan pretty much most of the time. There are all those times when we're doing an experimental part and we need to use a little bit of fan here and there, but generally, 95% of the time, no fan on any of the high temperature parts. Most slicers have an automatic setting based on your material, and if you're starting out, you can pretty much rely on that and you'll be fine. All right, for example, say you're printing two pyramids that come up to a point here. Once it gets up to, you know, pretty close to the top, it's gonna be spending a lot of time on a small section. And if it spends too much time on one section, that heat is gonna transfer down through. It's gonna continually heat that up. And so what you'll see is if it spends too long there, it's just gonna start melting the whole top of the part. So that is one of the instances where you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of cooling fan. Now, slicers like Simplify 3D allow you to actually change the cooling fan throughout the print and a lot of other settings. So you can actually only use the cooling fan at the top and use the normal settings for the rest of it and you'll be fine. If you're starting out, again, the auto mode usually works. If you're doing PLA, you'll be fine. In more advanced prints and more advanced geometries, then splitting the processes and using different settings for different sections of the part is actually really critical. Whether you've got a $300 printer or a $30,000 printer, it's always gonna come down to the material and the tuning process. Thanks for watching. We're gonna be releasing a lot more tips, tutorials, and guides on how to print these high-performance thermoplastics. So hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video.